Right, here we go, and the Youth Academy players have arrived. But I must admit, just looking at this screen here, I'm not overly impressed. I mean, there's one obviously good one at the top there, Martin Ovell. But apart from that, there's not a lot of great ones. It looks like a pretty poor year this year, to be honest with you. But let's go through them one by one. First of all, we have Martin Ovell. Central midfielder seems to have a decent potential. Not fantastic at this point in time. But definitely a player I think we will be able to get some use out of. Hopefully, if he does reach his potential. Next up, Nathan Vinales is a CDM and centre mid. Good tackling with a 13. Um, but not really that much good anywhere else, is he, really? This is a... Quite disappointing if these are the top two players. Mayel, Martin, Cam. Again, pretty poor to be honest. Uh, Peter Nesbitt. Left back and right back. Again, not really much there at all. Kieran Brown. Striker, 14 finishing, 14 heading. Good decisions, good off the ball. He's actually pretty handy to be honest. Nicholas Mwery. Um... No, again, not great. I mean, he's got some decent stats, but nothing outstanding. Stuart Hayworth. Centre mid. Ah, his passing's nine. His technique's nine. Um, it's not terrible, but... Again, not really up to our, our high standards. Declan Wiseman. Again, left back and right back. Not great. Andrew Hall. Centre back. Ten tackling, ten marking, nine heading. That's pretty decent, actually. Could get some good use out of this guy. A fairly good rating for the senior team in the future. Um, Mark Greenwood. A left midfielder. Not good, is it? This has been a really, really disappointing uh, set of academy players here, really. Centre-back, Paul Haynes, not very good. Um, Centre-back, Bill Fenny. Okay, but not great. Uh, Alex Wood, goalkeeper. Mm, maybe. Of some use in the future. Um, seem to be able to... Oh, am I stuck? Oh, let's bring this down a bit. There we go. That's better. Um, Matthew Llewellyn. Right back. Not good. Uh, Aid Morris, centre back. Again, not very good. What is this? And this is low rating for the senior team. Low rating for the senior team. And the final player, Frank Mason, is... Yeah. It's just not a good month, is it? It's not a good year, even. We'll definitely take on Ovel. I think we'll take on all of these two stars and above. At least, maybe Andrew Hall as well. Um, but yeah, it's not looking like a great year for us, is it, in the youth style-wise. Uh, but let's push on. We've got a couple of games for you today since I last saw you. Um, I have played three games. We beat Europa FC 3-2. Massive win that was for us. Two for Banali and one for Alvarez. We got a 1-0 win over Magpies thanks to an 88th minute Yunus Arab goal. And then a 1-1 draw against Monskout was not ideal really at all. We are still second in the league though. 10 points beneath Europa FC. Uh, three points ahead of Red Imps. Uh, nine points ahead of Monskalp. And 11 ahead of Link. So... Looks like we're definitely going to finish within the top four. So we're going to get a place in Europe. Uh, but today, who are we playing today? We have got Lynx and Lincoln Redim. So without further ado, let's get into the first game against Lynx. And here we go in that game against Lynx. Uh, it's just been announced just before this game that Europa FC have won the league. So uh, we're now fighting for second place. We're currently... In second place, about three points ahead of Lincoln Red Imps. So it should be interesting to see if we can keep that position. So in goal today, we're going to stick with Jerome Pitaluga. I am very disappointed with uh, with this year's Youth Academy players. We go with James Dean at left back today, who is looking like a very good player so far this season. Mark Pope sits in centre back. Alongside Alan Gavizo, who I think his pictures change actually. I think his hair's changed. He is wanted by Inter Milan and Porto, which is going to have a massive deal. Um, next up then, Ryan Sears at right back. I think what we will do is if we do end up selling Gavizo, we'll do the same as we've done in the past, where we'll let him go for them as much money we can get for him, but we'll insist on a, a massive percentage of the next sale. 
Uh, next up, Charlie Rowan at centre mid, or centre defensive mid. The two centre mids today then are going to be Fran Alvarez. And he will be playing alongside Nick Campbell-Lean. Our central attacking midfielder is going to be Gary Butterworth. who's actually having a real um, good time over the, this season. He's developed so much. Up front, we have Wayne Hill, fresh back from an injury. So his, his match, um, match fitness is not amazing. Uh, but alongside him, someone whose match fitness is amazing is Farid Benali. The man who scored 22 goals in 28 games so far this season. So without further ado, let's get straight into this game. It's a big one if we want to push to win the league. We have a chance to qualify. Oh, there we go. So if we win this game, do we qualify? Looks that way. Can book a spot in the preliminary stage of the Euro Cup too, should they, um, should everything fall into place. We deserve to qualify, so hopefully the lads will go out there and put suitable performance. Links' his recent struggle puts them 12th in the table. Huh? Links' his recent struggles have them 12th in the table. That's impossible because they can only be in the top half. They're fifth, it says there. So that's a weird one, that, isn't it? Um, only four would disregard their ability. You're third in the National League after... We're second. What is going on with this? It doesn't... This is messed up. This is messed up, isn't it? Uh, Valdivia's been banging in the goals. Um, we're definitely going to pay. Um, he's a fine player, but I have fine players too, and I'm confident in their ability. Yeah, Valdivia has always been a bit of a fall on our side whenever we played against Link, so hopefully today we can counteract him. We want to try and get an early goal if we can. Um, League-wise, then, yeah, we're forcing ourselves, we're pushing to try and get that second place. I don't think it matters. I think we'll end up in the same round of the Europa League 2 anyway. Um, but I think we just get a bit more prize money domestically and hopefully a bit more reputation as well. And then hopefully that will allow us to try and push on and become a professional football club. We nearly have a million pound in the bank. So surely that's a good chance to go professional. And I think... I would have to make the money by simply selling players, which is what we've been doing recently anyway. We've been bringing players through the academy and selling them on. Uh, this year, though, we've had a real poor academy intake, really. Nobody... It's been the worst we've had so far. We haven't really had any good ones, have we? Rowan here's Fran Alvarez. To Dean. Fran Alvarez once again to Dean. Back to Fran Alvarez. Back to Dean. Back to Fran Alvarez. Let me guess. Back to Dean. Dean. Crosses the ball in. It's going to end at Hill's feet. Hill takes the shot. The keeper tried his best to save it, but a ball does dribble into the back of the net. And that is 1-0 to us in the 44th minute. Uh, the hell was that? That was crazy. Yeah, poor goalkeeping, really. Uh, but Wayne Hill will take it. That's his ninth goal of the season. Right, half time. Um, we're in a good place at this point in time. We're going to encourage the team. We'll tell them they've done well, but there's still room for improvement. Um, some of these players might be getting towards the end of their careers with us, to be honest. I think Ricalde is one that... Actually, I think it's just Ricalde is the only one I think who could be leaving at the end of the year. Maybe another left-back, I'm not sure. Uh, Butterworth to Campbell-Lean. Fran Alvarez, Campbell-Lean. Fran Alvarez once again. I need to change this up because this is so... Just doing my head in, this is. Let's go standard... Be more expressive and let's push through the middle, okay. Let's see if that changes things up a bit because we're so slow. We're keeping the ball for long but doing nothing with it. And I think we need to be a little bit more aggressive with the ball. Dardivia. Right, Fran Alvarez. Here's Butterworth. Back to Pope. Big ball over the top. Benali's there. Oh, couldn't play it in. 
We still lead 1-0. Half an hour remains. Villa going to cross the ball. No, he doesn't. He plays it back to Andro. Now crosses the ball. Pope heads it nicely clear. And Hill punts it forward to Benali. It's a one-on-two here, but the uh, Europa Point players are plowing forward, but Benali doesn't need any of them. Oh, he probably should have used one of them, shouldn't he, really, as he loses the ball. There's the hour mark. We're going to bring in Cassano. What on earth has happened to this team? Hang on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's bring Cassano then in place of Fran Alvarez. And let's go with... Let's go with Yunus Arab in place of Benali. Let's rest Benali for a game. We've got that big Lincoln Red Imps game coming up, so we want to make sure our team is as fit as possible. We need to make sure we still win this game. Okay, we've fired up our team. Ten minutes remain, or less than that now. Let's bring in Dominic Gardner in place of Wayne Hill. Why not? It's one of the reasons we let him recall they go in the summer because we do have Arab, we do have Gardner, we have Hill, and we have Benali. That's four pretty good strikers fighting for that first two positions. I don't think Ricardo is really that much used to us. And there we go, a 1-0 win here over Lynx. That is an important one. Uh, passionately well done lads we've done well there. let's have a quick look at the league if we can see it boom there we go we qualified for the Europa League now excellent and we are currently five points clear of Lincoln Red Imps who only got a draw today against Magpies very interesting indeed five points ahead of them with only two free games remaining and one of those next is against Lincoln Red Imps. Let's go. And here we go. Then this is that match against Lincoln Red Imps. And I think a draw would more or less secure us the second position this season. So what we have done is we've gone with a very defensive formation. First of all, then in goal, we have Jerome Pitaluga. Uh, at left back, we have Matt Blake, who is wanted. Who are you wanted by? Maidstone. Of course he's wanted by Matt. Everyone in our squad's wanted by Maidstone. Uh, and the big news this week is that we finally have Mark Pope called up for the Gibraltar squad. He got two cups this week and two clean sheets as well, which is fantastic. Uh, alongside him, David Taylor was also called up to the Gibraltar squad. Goal, so got two caps as well. And also called up was Alan Gavizo, and also got two caps for the Gibraltar squad, which is fantastic. And then at right back, we have James Dean, who was also called up and got two caps for Gibraltar. So it's been a good week for us this week. Uh, Charlie Rowan is going to play as well. How far till you become Gibraltarian? Let's, let's not give you a nickname. Um, you've got 95 days left before you can play for Gibraltar. That'd be pretty good. In the middle, then we go with Fran Alvarez, and he'll be playing alongside Nick Campbell-Lean, who's still in the under-21s. However, Gary Butterworth got into the Gibraltar squad and got himself two caps as well. And our striker today is going to be a man who also got a cap for Gibraltar this week, Farid Benali. So we're playing a bit more defensive in this game. I would love to be able to just see this one out and see how we get on. Hopefully, sitting back in this game is not going to come back to bite us on the backside. Because I would like to just get possession, keep possession... And if we can see this out for a 0-0 draw, I'll take it. Right then, 20 minutes in. Only one shot so far this game for them. We've had 80% possession, so we're really just wasting as much time as possible here. Of course, when we do have Lincoln Red Imps in, I think it's the... It's one of the cups again. We've got... Is it the Rock Cup, maybe? Might be the Rock Cup. Of course, we've got um, Lincoln Red Imps in one final, Europa FC in another final, and Saint no Lynx in the Bright Stars Trophy final. I know that one. So hopefully we'll win at least one of those competitions and bring some silverware to the club. That's a good first half for us. Nothing happened. It's exactly what I like to see. Uh, let's tell them that um, I'm happy with the performance. Keep it up. We're holding them back. We're not letting them attack us. And we've had 75% possession and two shots in this game. 
Granted, both our shots were not on target, but still. Bernardi's not having a great game, but uh, in fairness to him, I suppose he never was going to in a formation that sort of leaves him up front on his own. Um, so let's bring on Cassano in place of Alvarez. Uh, I think that'll be it for now. We've got three strikers on the bench, only one striker on the pitch. A bit crazy, really, isn't it? Do we try and win this game? Do we go for it? Just for the last few moments? I think we do, you know. Let's just throw a complete spanner in the works against them. Let's go balanced. Let's take off a defender, put on a striker. This may just be the stupidest move I've made so far in this career mode, considering we were looking to see out a good nil-nil draw here. But can we steal it? There is a highlight. That substitutions help somebody, because this is the first highlight we've had all game. All right, please don't. Oh, is he off? He's offside. Jorginho's offside, surely. Pitaluga saves it anyway, but surely that was offside. Nah, Lionsman, I think you've messed it up there, mate. I think you've messed it up. Corner kick to be taken by Diaz. Ball in, headed clear. Well, I thought that was a penalty then for a second. I really thought that was going to be a penalty. Ball cleared. Okay. Only a few minutes of the game remain. Looks like we are going to be able to get a 0-0 draw. And we have. Nice. I'll take that. Does that secure us in second place for this season? We've got two games remaining. Where does that leave us? Um, la -de la -de la There we go. So two points remaining. It leaves us five points ahead of Lincoln Red Imps. With two match remaining, one against Europa FC and the other is going to be against Mons Kalp. So I'm going to play the Mons Kalp game off camera and then we'll come back for the Lynx and Europa FC finals and then we'll finish it off with a Lincoln Red Imps and Europa FC end of the season. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have, please do hit a like and of course subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.